See, many people go into marriage without good foundation. We build on a faulty foundation. And so when the building begins to develop cracks and problems arises, we don't know what to do because the foundation was faulty. Many marriages are built on faulty foundations. And because of that, they are struggling to keep afloat. They are struggling to survive. Marriages are struggling to survive because in the beginning, when they started going out, when they started courting, when they met each other, they destroyed the foundation. The foundation was not built on a solid rock, which is Christ. What do I mean by faulty foundation? In our age, modernism has taken over Christianity. So when you tell the truth, it is seen as, why are you so legalistic? Why are you so difficult? Why are you making life so difficult? And the truth is that sex before marriage makes the marriage weak. Deception in relationships, lies in relationships, we eventually make the foundation of that marriage weak. And so if you go into a marriage where the foundation is weak, probability that the building, the marriage itself will suffer is very high. You are building on a weak foundation. And when you build on a weak foundation, the building cannot survive the test of time. And so young people, if you are watching, listen. You see, what the Bible says is the truth. And of course, research has proven that marriages that are built on the faulty foundations doesn't survive. Yes, some may eventually survive, but generally, a lot of them fail to stand the test of time just because during their relationship, when they were going out, they did things that they were not supposed to do. Instead of openly communicating and discussing their future and going into that relationship with their values and principles, they destroy their values and principles on that altar of love. If you love me, you have sex with me. If you love me, you give me your body. If you love me, you do this. You love me, if you love me, you do that. If you love me, and we, based on love, which I doubt anyway, we sacrifice our values. We sacrifice our principles. We sacrifice the things we cherish most. And when you do that, you build on a faulty foundation. But there are so many relationships that are around the campuses, the churches. People are having sex as if they are married. They are, they are cohabiting. Cohabiting has become the norm. And nobody sees anything wrong with that. It is, it is wrong. When you build your marriage on this faulty foundation, it may crumble, it may collapse if Christ doesn't come in. This is very critical at this point in our lives where we are tempted to do whatever we want. We say we are Christians, but I want to do whatever we want. We don't care. We want Christ to be our savior, but we don't want him to be Lord of our lives. We want him to save us, but we don't want to live for him. Want to live anyhow and still expect the best from him. It doesn't work like that. Grace, the fact that there is grace does not mean that there is no responsibility. We have responsibilities. We have things we must do. And so if you renege on your responsibilities as a child of God and do whatever you want in that relationship, have sex, lie, deceive, do all the bad things in that relationship and still expect to have great marriage. Yes. By the mere mercy of God, you may have it, but don't just do things because you think it's your life and you can do whatever you want. Then live your life and don't pretend to be a child of the Most High God. 
and being straightforward but i think that sometimes we just have to say it as it is we don't have to mince words because there are a lot of us who are going around proclaiming to be people of god people of the bible but we don't want to do what is in the bible we want to do whatever you want the point is suit us and then when it doesn't you want to reverse and go back to god so if you want your marriage to stand the test of time then whilst going out with that girl, with that boy, with that gentleman or lady, don't do things that you are not permitted to do in that relationship, according to the scripture. Live your life as a child of God. If you are not a child of God, fine. And if you say you are a Christian, then live according to the dictates of Jesus, who saved you, who is your Lord. Let him be the Lord of your life and not just your savior. Otherwise, when your marriage begins to crumble on a faulty foundation, yes, you may go back to him again, but maybe too late. He may save you, but it may be too late. Build on a solid foundation, a foundation of truth, a foundation of values, principles, godly principles, and godly values. These are very crucial, and these will stand the test of time. Definitely. The challenges of life will come to us when it comes it's only values godly values and foundations that are solid in christ marriages that were built on the solid rock of christ that will survive i'm kusia champon if you enjoyed this video subscribe to this channel to receive notification whenever i upload a new video you can as well like and share this video god bless you i'll see you in my next video